to a story you will only see on RTV6. Tonight, an Indiana teen with Down syndrome is fighting for the right to get his diploma. His entire family is doing whatever it takes to get him to that graduation stage, including driving him from Fort Wayne to Indianapolis just so he can attend class. RTV6's Chance Walser has more on why this 15-year-old is forced to overcome so much in order to achieve his simple dream. At shooting guard, 15-year-old Grant Heaston. He loves playing basketball, the movie Elf, and school. I'm pretty good at doing math, education skills. I work on I work on social studies with docs. Grant wants a diploma. He's worked hard to get mostly passing grades in pre-algebra and other classes. As a freshman at Yorktown High School, he had one special needs class to help with his comprehension. He failed. Not for lack of effort, his parents say, but because he wasn't being taught. Several meetings with school administrators ensued. We basically butted heads for three solid hours. This was the seventh meeting that we had had this year that was the same kind of a meeting. Meetings with underlying suspicions from Grant's parents that the school wanted him out for fear his low grades would hurt their four-star rating. Before his sophomore year, the Heastons reluctantly moved Grant to a special school in Indianapolis, one that would support his goal to earn a diploma. The journey, though, is long. Grant's dad drives from his job in Fort Wayne to drop Grant off in Indy five days a week. While Grant's in school, dad sleeps on an air mattress in a nearby church. I, I don't think I'm doing anything that a lot of dads wouldn't do, um, but I feel like I'm forced to do it because of the situation with his education. Now the family is saving and raising money to pay for legal fees. They want Yorktown schools to pay for their travel expenses. The Heastons would call it payback for an education Yorktown refused to provide. Chance Walser, RTV6. Now, it's important to note we have left phone calls and emails with Yorktown's principal and superintendent hoping to get their response. So far, we have not heard back from them.